Right, welcome back to another session. Now, in this part, we're, we're going to do is set up our rooms and sections um, to make things easy and to put things, in, all the products in the various different rooms so it's easy for us to navigate through, easy for us to find, rather than having everything in one just big block, like for example, the unassigned rather than putting everything in there and then having to scroll through up and down to find the different devices. This makes it a lot easier and a lot more convenient and it groups everything together. So what we'll do is we go to the rooms tab and straight away, we've not defined anything at this moment in time. So we need to add, it opens up a, a window. So first of all, we need to add a section. And as this uh, little icon points, you've guessed it, it's either ground floor, first floor, second floor, basement, outside. So it's a section. So as usual, we can probably, most people will probably do a ground section. And first, and outside. And they're like the three main areas, usually. In your, in your houses if you've got a basement and you're adding bits to it then by all means you create a basement if you've got a second floor or a loft conversion you want to call it a loft or um, its possibilities are endless I personally usually clear, contain, uh, add an extra one uh, an extra area called systems and the reason in this systems I put things that are common it's things that used to run the house, for example, water heating timers, central heating timers, lighting schedules, um, alarm system. So I just tend to put that in systems. So it's easy to find where everything is. It's all in one section, so to speak. Now what we need to do, we add the relevant rooms. So we've got a, what, a front room, living room, lounge, whatever you want to call it, a back room, As you notice, it's still on the ground floor here. Um, and in upstairs, we have bedroom one. Again, you can just name them to whatever you want. So I'll just, oops, I'll put that in the wrong section. It's on first floor. As you can see, you've got a, a section out here. Now, if you look on here, I'll go back to bedroom one and I've just clicked on it. And now I can just change it to first floor and save it again. And now, as you can see, ground floor has a front room and back room. First floor has bedroom one, bedroom two. And let's add a new one. So we've got um, outside. Outside, we can just call it outside again. So for things like the outside lights, outside sensors. Um, um, and in my case, I've got um, a garage or an outbuilding. Um, so I'll just call mine garage. So that'll define if I've, I've got devices inside the garage as well. For example, for my garage door or the light inside the garage. But I've also got an outside light on the house, so I, I've di separated the two, so I can so I know which one's which. And I've got and the final one, the systems. I'm just going to call this systems. So this is where my things like the thermostat, uh, not quite the thermostat. This is where all my scenes, which are basically little miniature programs get written and goes into here so I'm just going to call these scenes so yes the thermostat will be located in say the hallway and I will um, our, oh, okay, hallway and down so for example a thermostat might be located in the downstairs hallway but rather than putting the programming timer in there I just put that in C in the systems and scenes it's just my way of keeping things neat and tidy everybody has their own ways so design this any way you like um, at the end of the day it's personalized to you and do it whichever way you want by doing this up front and ha it means that when we come to start in to add devices we've got our systems in place so we've got the ground floor first floor outside systems and then unassigned um, so 
whenever we add a device as part of the including system we can allocate it a room um, a section and this is the best way uh, of doing it by actually doing it up front so now that we've got these rooms set up we are ready to include the next to include our first device and that will follow in the next video bye for now